name is Bob Bowman. I was born and raised in Leveland, and I'm proud to say this is my home. My wife and I, Verna, have uh, bought a spot out here in the cemetery, and I'm very proud to serve on the cemetery board. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't have to go there too quick, but you've got to be ready for certain things, so we went ahead and got prepared for that. There's been three or four that have mentioned that marker out there, but that's up to you to go look. We won't talk about that today. I would like to become the mayor of Leveland. I have the time and experience, I feel like, to do a good job for you, and I would like to have the ability to work the city council and the city uh, employees. They do a good job, and I think that they need the, the respect and the compassion that the council can give to them to make sure that they do a good job for the citizens of Leveland. First question, Mr. Bowman, is uh, what personal experience or community involvement would qualify you to be the best candidate for the officer of mayor for the city of Leveland? I've served as county judge for eight years. I've served on a number of state boards and regional boards. I served on the SPAG board, community action. Uh, I've served in a number of different positions in Leveland uh, over the years. I was in business for 40 years. We ran two or three successful businesses, and uh, people were good to us. We had a good opportunity to serve serve people, and uh, and I appreciated that. But like I say, I've been retired for five years now, and I have the time, and will give the time, to stay and do what it takes to make Leveland a better town. And can you identify areas within the city that need the most improvement, and why? Well, all parts of Leveland are very important. Uh, other candidates have mentioned that uh, the west end of town needs improvement. It does. I was raised in that end of town. They've, uh, those water lines have been there for over 50 years, and they're going to take a lot of, of work and money and time to come to make sure that they provide services for our people. We have some areas north of town, of, north of the courthouse, that. Uh, need some attention and some work there but it's going to take something for the people to help bring the level up in level and we're going to have to establish some new pride with some of our people to be sure that they're involved that they feel good and comfortable about the town that they live in and when somebody comes in they want them to take to any portion of town and be proud we had a, a group come into town not too long ago and uh, the man was escorted at different parts, and he was impressed. But what he was really impressed with was the community involvement when he got ready to leave. I heard him when I was down at that meeting say, I've been to a lot of towns, and they rolled the red carpet out for me, and they showed me all the best parts, and they told me all about it. But he said, what really convinced me that Leveland was the right place to have a World Series was when a group of people came out at four o'clock in the morning and told him they wanted him to come back. That convinced him. And that's the thing that I feel like that the whole town needs to step up and bring up, and I can bring some leadership to that because I have the time and experience. I worked with a lot of people uh, over the last number of years. We don't talk about my age, but I'm 70. <laughs> And what do you believe are the uh, highest priority needs for Lebanon in the next three years? We have got to be sure that our water is taken care of and the future of our water needs. Because if we don't have water that's set up and taken care of for the long range, which it needs to be building now, I think that the council now has got some good things in, in line. We've got a couple of wells that were not being used that are presently available to go into use. But we've got to be sure that our water needs our field because we don't want to wind up with a position like some of the other smaller towns back down around the other side of Lubbock. And Lubbock has a major problem, as we've all heard, but we've got to make sure that our water needs are filled out, not for the only next three years, but many years to come. And how do you feel about the proposed multi-purpose event center? That will be one of the things that could make Leveland really step up. We have a lot of exciting things happening in Leveland now. 
but that could be the one that could really put us up on the top because that multi-purpose center will <clears throat> provide some things that have not been available. South Plains College was put in 50 years ago as an educational center and they've done a tremendous job. But as a community and a county, we kind of pushed an entertainment center over in their boat. And that shouldn't be that way. They've got to provide entertainment and certain things for their students, but their priority has got to be to provide education for kids. And I think that that needs to be the main priority for the school. If the multi-purpose comes, it will provide some services and make some space available that's not been available because South Plains College had some things going on in, and they were serving the purpose. So we need that multi-purpose center. It will provide uh, an opportunity for economic development that we've not experienced in Leveland in a long time. And I look forward to having the opportunity to see them break ground and, and open that up because it will have multiple events out there that we just can't have in our community now because like I say South Plains College has got to educate kids and their priority needs to be that way. And do you think the rail park will be a benefit to the city for its economic development? I see that it it can. Uh, as I understand it the uh, new employment would be around 400. That TILT program would, when the first phase went in uh, there was about $2 million that was allocated to go into that TIF program. As I understand it, they put up about 300, used about 375000 Their return on their money was 13 to 1. If that rail park out there did just half that well, that would be better than a lot of business that we have. And I really believe that it could be a major benefit because it could expand some other businesses that do not come here that could be associated along that. Uh, I feel like that it could be a major benefit for our town and for our county. And if they build that tax base up, then that gives a, the city another alternative for some revenues to come into our budget. The next question is, uh, from the KOBT listeners, you're to be applauded for your willingness to serve this community. When your term is over, how do you want to be remembered? I would like to be a mayor that's thought of as making a contribution, spending the time, and giving 100% to be sure that the citizens of Leveland could speak to the mayor. If I'm a elected, I plan to set up one day a month to set up a time for the mayor, because I'm sure there's a number of people in this audience that have been to meetings and wanted to ask the question, but there's a little bit embarrassed to. But on a one-on-one, -on -one, if uh, you have time and you could sit down with the mayor, I think that that would be a major benefit, and I'd like to hold that role of being the person that, that made that contribution to that land. 